All right, so uh, as usual, I don't know what cutting stage this is. It's been a while. Maybe it's like day 50? Day 50 something? Day 4 something? I don't know, but um, I'll find out and then I'll put it in the description. Anyways, um, I'm exhausted. I'm under a new diet which consists of high fats, protein, moderate protein, and no carb. So, the carb is so strict, I can't even eat fruits. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, give you an idea of what I eat. Check my iPhone right here. I eat like a fat boy. Wow, this loads pretty slow. Um, all right, all right. Let's see what I ate yesterday. Okay, I ate. All right, for breakfast I ate six egg whites. Um, five slices of mozzarella cheese. Sausage. Beef sausage, that is. Uh, one stick of butter. Uh, Skippy peanut butter. With the extra crunch. Hot sauce. Water. That was breakfast. My lunch was 25 slices of pepperoni. Five spoons of peanut butter. And five Swiss cheese slices. And my lunch, two chicken legs, broccoli and cauliflower, and six egg whites with green tea, mayonnaise, and hot sauce. So that's kind of how my meals look like. Um, one second, I want to change the song right here. Um, oh, yes, I had, uh, a weird day, or a nice day, oh, great weather, uh, I managed to talk to a guy in a supplement store, old guy, and he seemed pretty interested in me. No homo. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Um, he was really trying to reach out to me like he cared, like giving me advice and everything. Uh, I went there to look for something called kettle sticks because, like I said, I'm under this new diet to get into Kyotis. And from what I hear, some bodybuilders use that type of diet to get all the way down to 3%. Anyways, he was like, oh, you know, you shouldn't take steroids or don't take them because they're like cigarettes. You know, you're young, you smoke them, puff, 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 but then when you get older, it catches up to you with the heart attacks and And then, I was thinking to myself at that time, huh, this is like really typical advice. But this is where it got interesting. He said, now, it's a different story if you were using it to make money. Like, uh, athletes or superstars or whatever. They use uh, something for their career to make money, serious money, millions of dollars. And then he, he said, well, be my guest. Go ahead and do that. With that kind of money, you'll be happy. You'll be set for life. Okay? You don't need no morals. And he told me one thing. He said, you can't be successful in life without cheating. And I have to say, personally, that, that is true. When I was in the black market, or used to work in it, I 
I, I could not give anyone an advantage. As soon as competition came up, I had to remove out the competition fast as I could. Because I know what competition does to me. Competition makes me work harder. And no one wants to work harder. You want to work less and get the most amount of money. That's everyone's goal. Okay? Um... So I was talking to a buddy of mine, and I was telling him, you know, I, I could see how th this guy's advice is really true. Let's say you put a, well, let's say the gym in my location, right? It costs $200, or $210 a year, <laughs> a year, okay? There's gyms that cost like $10 a month, or maybe even less. But you know why it's that much money? Where I go to? That's because there's no gyms near around that area. You know? That that gym that I go to, it looks like a prison. It is a prison, but it's my gym. Um So they never have to buy any new equipment. They they don't even have to like make the place brand new because there is no competition. And that's what you always want. You never want any competition. You know what I'm saying? And personally, I would take out any competition if I ever had the chance. Like restaurants, you've seen it happen. They put like bugs in other restaurants, like roaches or whatever, to ruin their reputation. <sighs> Anyways, I'm getting way too into this. I wanted to see my progress. And I guess that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. So my room's a little bit messy. Boy, it's, it's always messy. But don't judge me. Don't judge me. One second. I, I just always have to have music on. It's... It's who I am. It's who I am. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff right there. All right. Non flex. Okay. Non flex. Huh. But, you know, never mind. I was going to show you my veins and my arm, but can't really see them since I have this on. Okay, so here we go. Oh, oops. Anyways, um, my goal now is to lose fat. I already built up the muscle all the way up to 1010 pounds. So currently, right now, I'm at 191, but I'm going to stop weighing myself, which I already did about three days ago. You know, I got sick. Sick, 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 sick. Oh. <laughs> I got really sick. Like, let's just say I had to tear up the toilet from bad cereal. 182 to 191 the next day. What the heck? <laughs> but I checked my waist and that went down. So it's water weight. I'm done checking the weight scale. I'm just going to measure. My tummy. Anyways, see ya. Keep it strong. Oh, I'm so powerful.